The Hohen Salzburg Fortress towers 400 feet above the Salzach River. One of Europe's mightiest castles, it dominates Salzburg's skyline. Access is quick and easy from the old town by funicular. Its cannons evoke both threats of centuries past and the power of Salzburg's rulers. The courtyard was the main square of this hilltop community of a thousand, which could be self-sufficient when necessary. The well dipped into a rain-fed cistern. The square was ringed by blacksmiths, bakers, and craftsmen. Imagine how expensive this massive fortress was to build, and it was never really used in battle. That was the idea. The guys who paid for it would say it was a good investment. So foreboding, nobody attacked Salzburg for a thousand years. Its ramparts provide the best views of the city. Surveying the town, you can imagine Salzburg through the ages. From the castle, take a stroll across the forested Monksburg Hill for a breezy respite from the city and more commanding views. Set your sights on the spire of the Augustinian church, and you'll find what seems like half of Salzburg feasting and drinking. Those Augustinians must have been the most popular monks in town for their rollicking beer garden. Austria specializes in a knack for conviviality. And in Salzburg, there's no better place to experience that than here at the Augustiner Braustube. On balmy summer evenings, this brewery has the ambiance of a Renoir painting as all generations gather under the chestnut trees, as they have for centuries, to enjoy cheap food, good beer, and that special local coziness called Gemutlichkeit. It's self-service. Peruse the food stalls. No shortage of meats, kraut, and salads. And the steckerel fish? Now that's my kind of fish stick. Getting a beer is fun in itself. By your token, choose a mug. Two choices, big and huge. Give it a rinse and fill her up. As is often the case in rowdy European eateries like this, you share tables and make new friends.